Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new on the body packing video and review for you guys featuring the gorgeous Jujube BFF in the brand new blush print from the Chromatics collection. And I'm actually doing this video in collaboration with Perpetual Mommy. She and I are both packing up the blush BFF in our own ways. So definitely go check out her video. I will link her channel right here for you guys. And you can check her out after this video. And definitely make sure you give her a subscribe while you're there. She makes a lot of great Jujube content and she's just a really sweet mom. So let's go ahead and get started on this video. Today I have my Jujube BFF packed up for me and my son Colton. He is almost three and we are at the tail end of potty training. He literally only has accidents at night now, which is great. Um, but while we are out and about, or if we are on long drives and things, then I still wanna pack for accidents just in case, cause it's never a bad thing to be overprepared. <laughs> So the new Jujube Chromatics come with a brand new type of material that I will show you guys a very close up look at here. You can see that it has a really nice texture to it. It has a cotton feel to it, but it also has a canvasy feel to it, but it's a very soft material, very squishy, fabricy. It is still machine washable, like all Jujube diaper bags. So you don't have to worry about getting this color dirty. You can easily just toss this into the wash and get it looking brand new again. So this particular color blush is actually more of a dusty rose in my opinion. It is really, really pretty though, and it features this beautiful rose gold hardware, which has a lot less of a shouting feel to it than Jujube's older rose gold hardware. So it's more of a muted rose gold. It's a brushed rose gold. It's really, really pretty. It also features rose gold zippers, and I just love the lining on this particular color. So let's go ahead on the outside of the bag. I will go over some of the features with you guys, and then we will jump onto the inside for the packing portion. So the GGB BFF features a double zipper opening right here. It goes all the way down on both sides of the bag, but it does have gussets, so you don't have to worry about all of your stuff falling out, which I love. It has a very nice mommy pocket on the front here with tons of room for all of your stuff, and it keeps it nice and separated from all of baby's stuff. There's also a nice tech pocket up here. You have a bottle pocket on each side of the bag, so you can put your own drinks in there or baby bottles. The back of this bag, as you guys saw in the very beginning of the video, this bag is convertible, so you have backpack straps. You also have the optional messenger straps, so you can actually carry this around in your bag with you if you wanted to change out the backpack straps while you're out and about. And you can wear this over the shoulder and crossbody. And this back pocket here, actually is a great place to store the change pad. And we're actually beyond the point of needing change pads in the bags now, but I still love these. These are even great for like sitting on if you're at a ball game or something, <laughs> waiting for your kid to finish up this game and you needed something a little squishier to sit on while you're waiting. Now, just yesterday, I actually took this bag out and about with me to a really big indoor arcade type of place with mini golf and laser tag and all that fun stuff. And I was there for almost two hours and I was wearing this as a backpack and it was so comfortable, you guys. I did have a few people ask me if this material is lighter weight feeling than the regular GGB material. And I would say, yes, it's got a little less thickness to it. So it feels a little bit more lightweight because of that, I think. But it is a really comfortable bag to wear. So I really, really enjoyed that. You have two large D-rings on both sides of the bag here. So you can hook on your messenger strap. You can also hook this bag on a stroller. And this is my favorite bag for strollers. It is amazing on strollers. You also have a very nice grab handle on top here that is padded and it has a really nice grab length to it. So you can just grab it and go. So now that I've gone over the outside of the bag, let's go ahead and go through the inside and all the pockets and things. So let's start with the side pockets here. So on this side here, I have my swell bottle. This is a nine ounce swell bottle. Usually when I'm out and about, the most I really need is just a small bottle of water with me because I don't even think about it most of the time, but if I do want it, it's there. On the other side of the bag, I have my sunglasses case. So I just have a pair of sunglasses in there and that is all that I had in those two bottle pockets. There's nothing that I have in the very back pocket here. Like I said, that's a great place to put that change pad if you need it. So let's go ahead and jump on into the mommy pocket. So let's see what's inside the mommy pocket. So this is how I have it currently set up in here. You have two smaller gusseted pockets on the inside of the mommy pocket here. So on this one, I have my Kate Spade Kara wallet. 
And then in the other one, I don't have anything right now. Usually when I have my wallet in here, it bolts it up too much in that pocket to fit anything else in here. So that's why I kept that one empty. And then I have my keys on the key fob here. So on the other side here, I have a small set piece. And in here I just have things for myself like lip gloss, chapstick, and a hairbrush down in there. In the sunglass holder here, I have a little hand lotion. And that is all that I had in the mommy pocket here, but you also have one more smaller zipper pocket right there. In the tech pocket here, I have my cell phone. So I just have an iPhone 8 Plus and I had it sitting straight up and down in there and it fits perfectly, no problem. Now let's jump onto the inside of the bag. So as I mentioned, the BFF has a double zipper opening that goes all the way down on both sides, but you do have your gussets there. So this is what the inside looks like. You guys can see that gorgeous blushy pink colored lining. It matches so great with the outside of the bag. It's just really, really pretty and feminine. My stuff is starting to fall, but as you saw, it did not fall out. <laughs> so this is how I have it packed up in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a little bit of an angle so you guys can see a little bit better. So there is a zippered front pocket down in here, which I don't usually use, but I really wanted to have my wipes easy to access. So I put my wipes down in there. So I have a wipe pouch 30 down in that pocket there. It fits great. And I just leave it unzipped and then I have easy access to it. Behind that, I have my Jujube large set piece in Sakura at dusk. In here, I just have snacks for my son. So here we go. This makes a great snack bag. So I have a little um, take along milk and that can stand straight up and down in there without having problems closing it. I also have a GGB Be Neat, a fruit pouch, some almonds for me, and a couple other snacks down in there as well. Behind that I have my GGB Be Quick. And I think this is a really great type of bag to show you how the fabric really feels and looks on this particular new color. So this is the Jujube Be Quick and Blush. You have the new Jujube logo up here. It's really, really pretty. So in here I have some change of clothes for my son. I have a pair of socks, some pants, and a shirt for him just in case. Next, let's go through the side pockets. Over here, I have some M&Ms. I like to reward my son when we're out and about if he goes to the potty in a public toilet. So um, that's just a special treat for him. And then he has his iPod that he can play educational games on. On the other side here, I have another small set piece in the blush color. And in here, I just have a mini med kit. So I have some Advil, nail clippers, band-aids, gauze, um, this Aquaphor lip balm, which is amazing, love it and then some alcohol pads and things like that, because you never know. With a toddler running around, they are always tripping. <laughs> it's better to be prepared. So there's also a couple pockets on the very back of the bag here. There's two small zippered pockets in the very back, which I don't usually utilize, but you can definitely put like hand sanitizer wipes and things like that in those types of pockets. On this side here, there is a nice good size gusseted pocket. You can put diapers and wipes in these two pockets. It's perfect for that but I have my planner. So I have a mini happy planner here. It's just really the right size to take with you when you're out and about, so I love it. On the other side here, I have a small Lily J packing case in the mauve color. I thought it looked really pretty with the blush. It's not a perfect match, but it is very close. So if you guys wanna shop the Lily Jade packing cases, I will leave a link down below for you and you can check them out. I really love these ones because you can see through them. So I have a pair of Kanga Care Little Learners pants in here and a baggy dispenser. And then I also have a Baby Olay wet bag down in here just in case there is a mess. So that is all that I have in my bag, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and got some inspiration for how to pack your own diaper bags. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe while you're here. Don't forget to check out Perpetual Mommy's video for the Blush BFF as well, and I will link that down below for you guys in the description box. If you'd like to shop Jujube with me, I will leave my affiliate link down in the description below. And if you use it, please let me know. Thanks for watching.